Hi, this is Patrick Evans Hilton here with Cuisine Scene and I am with Mason Garner at uh, Tubby's Tavern. And how are you doing, Chef? Very well, very well, thank you. Excellent, so now uh, you have been here at Tubby's about two years, is that right? Just about two years, yeah. Excellent, now, um, and you went to school at Johnson & Wells. Yeah, I went to uh, the Charlotte location about four years after it, the grand opening, uh, shortly after they relocated from the Norfolk uh, location. And we were talking, uh, it seems like we have some mutual acquaintances that uh, other Virginia Beach and uh, Coastal Virginia and this area folks that went down there with you too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Blair Cannon and, and Logan McCoy are a couple good buddies from school there and they're doing well for themselves. That's good. Now, you um, you live uh, not actually in Virginia Beach, but but something that's you know probably a lot of people kind of consider de facto Virginia Beach. In fact, um, I think if I remember correctly, y'all even have the same uh, area code as we do, right, down in Knotts Island. What? Or, we or did that change? Sort of have the same area code. Uh, we all come to Virginia Beach for for everything. So. Like you said, de facto, we are Virginia Beach, um, and we all have the 757 cell phones, but technically, if we were got a Kurtuk area code, it would be a 252, but uh -huh. most of us do uh, fall under the 757. Well, that's awesome. And so we were talking, uh, you really enjoy a lot of the, uh, the the fishing and game and everything, and um, and so you know we see some of that reflected in your menus here at Tubby's, along with some great burgers that I have that I have enjoyed also here as well but what do we what do we have here in front of you uh, today we're gonna get the dry rub on our prime rib uh, we have prime rib seven days a week and it's a uh, it's a pretty big hit so we're gonna get started here we have kosher salt black pepper onion and garlic powder and uh, just a little bit of ground coriander so we're gonna <clears throat> throw this on and and rub it in nice we already scored the the top of the rib, uh, rib here so try to get this down in the uh, serrations there season it nicely and now um, you know I, I commented you know just the way you'd already pre-measured that's something called mise en place and why why is that important not just for somebody that's working in a restaurant but for a home cook as well well if you don't measure stuff and you just kind of eyeball it which people tend to do uh, you're gonna end up with something a little bit different each and every time so if you measure it out and you make sure you have the this exact same amount every time you'll, you'll get a much more consistent product and uh, as far as a, a restaurant is concerned you can get your food cost in line and make sure uh, the consistency that the, the customer likes to see is, is the same every time and then you know it's also you know it's been good for me when I've already pre-measured things out and had them ready just to go because all of a sudden you might realize oh no I'm, I'm out of this or that and and during the cooking process you might not have the uh, the flexibility just to stop what you're doing and run to the store. Yeah, it's a little tough when you when you when you're already cooking there and you run out of something. And what do we got there? This is just some dried rosemary. Uh, okay. We like to put a, a pretty hearty dose of rosemary right on top of uh, on top of the seasonings there. It just gives it a nice aromatic uh, finish. Now, folks, you know um, a lot of folks hear you know the the term dry rub and um, you know. A wet rub so this is obviously you're 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 rubbing in the the dry ingredients what what's kind of the difference and why are you doing you know this instead of slathering on some kind of uh, sauce or something um, well we go with the dry rub because it gives it a nice crust at the end um, and you can well as far as we're concerned you can control it a little better sometimes mm -hmm. with uh, the wet rub you you, you don't get the same uh, consistency which like I said before you really got to strive for in the in the kitchen um, mm. and I yeah. guess rubbing it in like that too it just it kind of permeates does it kind of permeate the the meat a little bit better and give you know um, you know maybe a little bit like you said just a, a more consistent flavor than something that's liquid and might run off or something yeah absolutely um, like I said earlier we, we already serrated the, the mm -hmm. top of the rib there and then so you can push your, your dry rub down into all those cracks and really penetrate the, uh, the flavor deep into the meat and really get a, a nice um, consistent flavor. Very good. Now uh, the recipe that you shared that goes with the companion article is a, uh, is a barbecue sauce. Uh, so we we're talking a little bit about sauces. Tell, tell me a little bit about, about that sauce. Is that something that you grew up with? or? Yeah, it's just a super traditional uh, Carolina vinegar sauce that we down on Knott's Island love to smear on uh, 
some smoked pork uh, pork butt. Yeah. Just leave it on the grill all day. When you take it off and it's fork tender, you shred it up and, and dress it with a, a bunch of that vinegar sauce. And it's uh, that that stuff really hits home for me. It's nothing better as far as I'm concerned. That looked like a really good recipe. I'm gonna have to try it at home. It kind of struck me. Of course, I know that y'all do a great brunch here. That that might actually be a good addition to a Bloody Mary too. A little bit of that. Oh, sure, kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of kick that up a little bit, right? That would be a very good idea. I might have to try that myself. Absolutely. Well, very good. Well, Chef, I know you've got to get ready for uh, for tonight and and finish everything there. And uh, but I appreciate your time very much. Thank you, sir. Can't oh. wait to see you again. All right. Take care now. Bye bye.